Yo, what's up boys and the few girls that I have watching this channel. I just got fired from my full-time work, so all the support you could give me on this video and in the future uploads, such as likes and subscribing, would really help me out and make my day. I talk more about it in this video, about everything, so I just want to keep this short, but I really need more help now more than anything else, because I want to do this full-time and I would need your support for it. I hope you enjoyed this move I made for you, and if you do, please show it. Thank you so much. Yo, what is up, my dudes? All right. We are back again in the world of Rust. And today, we're going to make a sick, cozy tree base. Wait, can I get something lucky here? Like, is this a tool? Hey, this is going to be a good wipe. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing decent, I would say. I lost my job. Like, I got fired or whatever, like, laid off. They couldn't hire more people. So, yeah, I'm back to grinding rust. I mean, I, I didn't leave or anything, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I lost my job, but uh, maybe this gives me more time for rust to do solo content and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of demotivated losing my job like that. I've been kind of up and down, but uh, feels good being back making videos again so i hope you guys will enjoy this one and if you could support me by leaving a like and maybe a subscription that would make my day you know if you like solo content this is definitely the video for you i'm just gonna have a good good time you know just just play normally like i always do go from zero to hero and just trying to trying to get loaded but i want to build like a unique base as well up in the tree lines after farming the road for a bit i actually ended up dying sadly so i decided to restart and then i had her for outpost instead and this is when something funky happened oh i'm so dead here oh my god what a noob bro he died no way bro that's my start <laughs> oh my god that's a free gun that's a that's a good start <laughs> All right, that's another way to snowball, right? <laughs> that's a good start, I guess. <laughs> what a noob. <laughs> yeah, he's on his roof with a bolty. There's no way. What a loser. Can you hear that? <laughs> that's so depressing. Imagine camping here for hours. Just to die to outpost. <laughs> Thank you. So now that I had a gun... I know I would be able to cause trouble on this server. This was just the beginning of my solo journey. I'm gonna go with burst on this gun. Yeah, I'm going burst. <gasps> oh my god, there's so many turrets there. What the fuck is this server, bro? People just out here spamming turrets for the fun of it, or what? That's so, That's so bad. I'm never going back here. This area was a grub's paradise. I wanted to make sure that I stayed far away from this outpost because there were so many turrets everywhere. I looted myself and then made it to my build location. The plan for this wipe was to find a dense forest and build a tree house above the tree line. And I thought I had found a perfect place to live. Okay, I ran out of fuel. Uh, we're just gonna set down a two by one anyway. Like I hope, I, hopefully, I've made enough. So this is where I first ran into this guy named Lucky Man. This guy will be a bit of a trouble because he lives nearby me, but he was not happy that I was gonna live here. What is going on? Um, I don't even know what to do. Can't do shit here. Right, this is where I want to live. We 
gonna have to live like in a in a one by one for now. Jesus Christ, bro! Like I don't even know what to do. I don't have a flashlight or anything. I I, I can't loot the guy that I just killed. <laughs> All right, I placed the TC down. That's good. I can't be bothered looting now. The guy I checked his inventory it was nothing special. Oh god. Well, I think it's time that we move. He was trying to raid me. He was trying to raid me. Okay, we're moving out of here. He was setting up barricades and everything, dude. He was actually going for me, that's crazy. The guy that I just killed in the forest wasn't really happy that I lived here. He really tried to raid me by getting nades and molotovs ready. Which is understandable. But I made my way out of there and slapped down a shack a little bit further away. But this wasn't the end of everything. I had a plan for this guy. Bro was going all in with me. Right, it's fine though. We go back and kill him if we can. I think I'm already raided. No, I still have a bag. So my plan for this guy was to wait him out at my base. If I've learned one thing in Rust during my hours of game time, it's that the people that play this game never give up. And I never do as well. So I knew he would come back with his greedy goblin fingers to make a profitable raid. But I wasn't gonna let that happen. Yep, he's coming back. No way. There's no way he's doing this. <laughs> he came with satchels as well, dude. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh shit! He's back AK or what? What the fuck? Oh, he bled out! Bro, he bled out! I lost my full kit, f dude. I was going for the push, but he repeaked that. Do I risk everything I have? I lost it. GG, bro. G -G. G Good work. GG, man, happy. I love you, bro. How do you know it's me, bro? Pick me up. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. How the f do you know? <laughs> <laughs> How you know, bro? Bro, I may, I may or may not be I may or may not be stalking your battle metrics, but that's just it, you know. All right, bye, bye, man. Bye, bye. <laughs>
Nice. Uh, all right, that's perfect. I was gone for an hour. Wait, I got raided. That's insane, dude. Well, at least we have some bags and shit, but getting raided like that. So once I came back to my little wood shack, I was raided. And at this point, I wasn't really demotivated to play. I was just confused on how everything started out. I started at outpost, I got a free gun, I then smacked down my base, and I didn't get a single moment to catch a break after that. Lucky men first tried to raid me, and then I defended the raid, and then I had to flee into the mountains where I set up my base. And now, I was raided and set back to zero again. But of course, I wouldn't want to give this up, I knew this was gonna be an insane wipe. And this wipe has a lot of ups and downs, but most of the times, down parts but also an insanely good comeback. So please keep watching till the end because this video is insane. We can build here? Bro, what the fuck? We build here. We are building here, dude. Remove everything. What? There's actual build privilege here? I feel like this is good. This is perfect. We think we can take launch side as well. Like we can take Bradley. <clears throat> we can we can take Bradley and everything from here. This is so good. How far out can I build? I can build so far out. This is perfect, bros. I found the most insane location to build at. There we go. No. Yeah, alright, that's good. Thought it opened the wrong way. Alright. We do like this. Boom, boom, boom. So, let's go launch site. Get a few components to recycle. And then we should be good, right? Oh god, there's like four wolves there. Wait, where's the tank? I can hear it. Is it stuck? I think it is. <sighs> oh god. Alright, so I can't really recycle. Gotta loot a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Since I couldn't recycle at launch height, I headed out for another nearby monument. I kind of want a snowball, like I did before. Gonna grab a bit of scrap. Go outpost, and then... I'm actually gonna buy myself an MP5. I think there's... I think this guy. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna buy from this guy. Like, I already snowballed pretty good, so... <clears throat> I think I'm allowed to buy guns from outpost, right? If you get raided... There's no excuses. There's no rules for a solo if you get raided. You can buy guns if you want to. Since I was playing on a bi-weekly server, I needed to have some proper guns so I can defend myself. People had been playing here for a week already, so I needed guns as well. I farmed a few nodes and then headed out for outpost. Since I already got raided, I didn't really have time to snowball the normal way. So, outpost was gonna help me out with this. Since I played her last wipe, I did have a few BPs such as pistol bullets and other types of ammo. So, I bought some grenades and recycled them so I could craft ammo. 
Ooh, let's go. It's my favorite skin of the gun. Oh, I'm going for that. Yeah, boys. Yeah, he's on his roof. What a nerd, dude. What a fucking loser, bro. Please drop down. Actually, just full crouching on his roof. Oh shit, he's actually going out geared. Thank you. So we got we got a gun. We snowball as we wanted from a roof camper. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what was he doing though? He had a ladder. Hmm. Okay. Very very strange. <laughs> I hear L9 in the background. He's so upset. Now that I had a gun, I could actually make myself profit again from PvPing instead of having just a bow. Once I came back to my base. I found a lot of stone, because that's what we needed for this space to be done. So server is pretty calm at the moment, which is really nice. We can now focus on doing what we want. Oh, I see a guy already. What the fuck is this, bro? Where's the amplifier? No! Oh! It went through the ground, but I still got it. Okay, we gotta go deeper this. They had so much, bro. Right. I think we can farm at launch height. <laughs> he had so much. Dude, I'm so lucky I could grab the amplifier. It was under the ground for some reason. I gotta fix that. Like, there's so many people. It's fucking low pop. Dude. This guy had an LMG, I think, on the back. Okay, I gotta go. What is going on, dude? This guy that I was shaking down had LMG and everything. I whiffed so hard on that guy. So annoying. Gotta be careful for this guy, though. He might live this way. Dude, I just want to finish my base. I don't want to PvP now. I was going out to collect some fuel. Oh, 120 crude oil. Yo, I could go cook. Oh, I got the fuel too. I didn't even see that. That's what we needed, bro. 
Every time I wanted to focus on my base or something else, I heard gunshots. And I just couldn't keep myself away. I'm a greedy person, so I went back to launch site once again to see if I could PvP some guys. There is. He dropped down. Revy. <laughs> hmm. Right, I definitely need to focus on my base. I have like two doors to all the loot that I have. And it's pretty safe to say that I have a bit now. Pretty good snowballs so far. Definitely need to upgrade that. Gonna farm some stone as well. I kind of have like an idea how I want to do it, but uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to pull it off. Like, no joke. As I said in the start, I wanted to make an old-fashioned tree house above the tree lines. To do this in rust, you need foundations on the floor, and then you put wall frames all the way up to the top. And then on top of the top, you make a foundation where you set your base down. But of course, I want to do this in twig at the start, so I can see if it even works. Once I had something that was working out, I upgraded the frames to stone. This took a while to do, so I sped it up a lot, so... Yeah, it takes a long time to make this type of base, because you need so many wall frames and you need to make it higher and stuff, so... I don't know, it, it's a good experience, but um, you will have to see for the end results. It, it, it was a cool base, but uh, we're slowly getting there. Like, even if I want to finish the base, I still want PvP. You already know me, boys. Hmm. Seems pretty far away, right? I see him. There's one more in the forest. Hmm. This was the guy, I think. Ooh, mushrooms. Okay. We're winning those. We're winning those. Of course, of course, boys. Hey. I mean, I don't even have space for this. What is this, bro? At this point, I was desperately trying to get my base done since I only had two doors to all my loot. I was pretty stacked in there. So I grabbed diesel and went down to stone quarry. This base that I built required way too much stone. More than I expected. And there wasn't much stone around my base that I could farm, so I had to use every method possible.
As I said previously, every time that I wanted to do something on the server, new stuff happened all the time. My neighbor had just taken the heli down, and of course, I would want to interrupt that in hope to snowball even more, even though I didn't even have space for it. So, I went over there with an MP5 to see what I could do. Yeah, that's one dead. What the fuck? He's tapping or something? What the hell is that? The snake! He doesn't even have a face mask, bro. There's like a SAR kit in that bush that I want to go for. If I can make it there even. I mean, they're, they're kind of heavily roof camping this area. So, not really sure. Bro, I have 20 HP. Please let me get this loot. Oh shit, he lives this way. And we got my MP5 back too. So I made it back into the base, but I still didn't even have a workbench. So I couldn't craft meds or anything. The situation about my workbench and everything and the base size was becoming a real problem soon. I didn't have space for anything. All right, Happy, you got this, you got this. No meds, doesn't really matter. Just gotta make the best out of it, right? As I said earlier, I couldn't even catch a break. As soon as I depot all the gear sets, someone was doing Bradley. And I decided to counter it since, well, yeah, I live two meters away from launch light, so I went there. I'm so dead here anyway. MP5 only, there's no way. Oh my god, I... Okay, I'm getting the fuck. Out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I think it was solo as well, just full sending it. That's insane, dude. Did I miss one crate? I don't think I did. Did I? Yo, that's insane, bro. Oh god.
Let's see him again. What the fuck is glitching so much? Okay, he knows I live here now. I could barely see him, bro. Alright, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm actually stuck in this base because I'm getting door camped by Mustafa. I have so much loot, I don't even know what to do. So I was getting pinged down by this guy and locked inside my base, since he knew where I was. He was just lingering around the forest, so I decided to push out to see if I could put him on bag timer. And then, during that phase, I would make an extra base and deep all the loot inside. That was the initial plan. What I thought. Hate myself. Yep. And honestly, when I'm mad, I always do stupid decisions. I didn't even have any meds or anything, but I decided to push out with my M249. Ah. Ah. Got raided again. Fuck me, dude. Did he grief me? Yeah, he did. Oh my god, bro. All this work for nothing? Nice. We go again. Hopefully it's a good video to watch. Maybe it's fun to watch ups and downs. But, uh... I just want to make my fucking treehouse. I was just gonna expand it. And then what? I get raided? Well, before I went AFK, I actually managed to slap down a one by one. So I still had a bit of guns left, but I lost the majority of everything that I had farmed and had in the base. Such as resources and other important stuff that I would need in general. But uh, we'll go again, and I'm pretty happy that I made a one by one just right beside my base. Of course, there's another fight outside my base. Again. Might have to go for it. I couldn't really locate where the AK guy was shooting, so I went up a zip line. And this is when I found out that he was raiding right next to me. He had a turret base, and he was raiding another base. So the reason why I kept killing people or PvPing instead of focusing on the base is because I still needed a lot of gear sets. I lived so close to launch site that if I didn't have any hazmats, I would take radiation in my base. So every piece of cloth that I could take or a clothing would be so good for me. So that's why I kept PvPing for a while to re-snowball everything that I lost. It's him. So this is the guy that raided me. He was just here to scavenge more loot, I guess. Or move loot. But I killed him before he could do so. That's the guy who raided me. He's back. So the guy that raided me lived right next door to me inside this space. I was so scared of making noises and stuff in there because I had one door to all the loot. You guys probably understand me. One rocket and a bit of expo ammo and one grenade and then I'm gone. You know how it works in Rust. You have no chance of defending that. Since I already had a lot of downs this wipe, 
I didn't want to mess it up this time. I really wanted to finish my base and just do it as I planned to do. So instead of staying inside my base, I decided to go for another base location meanwhile. I didn't want to give this up, but I was at least searching. And this is when something crazy happens. Like, how is there no places for me to build? Third time's a charm, right? Oh god. Um What the f happened? So this was the guy that I was looking for in the zip line. He was going to depot his rockets in his main base, I suppose. And I shot him off his horse, and now I was loaded with rockets, and I had no base or nothing. I mean, I had Bro. one base with one door. I have actually no clue what happened. This is very bad. Extremely, extremely bad. I'll tell you that. I don't even have a base. <laughs> I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. So I didn't want to risk it running into my neighbor or jumping into my base with all these rockets. He could be anywhere in that forest. My forest was extremely grubby. He already raided me and he was crouching around that area all the time. So I figured my best bet would be to slap down a shack inside a decaying compound. Just for a few minutes. This is not what I wanted to do at the moment. I don't have the fucking basis for all this but i mean a snowball is a snowball and that's that's a pretty pretty fucking good one jesus christ like i want to make my tree house but i keep snowballing snowballing and snowballing you know since i did have a night vision i decided to farm in the night time and during the night time i would slap down a base and move all these rockets i would make this base super hidden inside a cliff somewhere this is also where i would run into another rubble. I was gonna check out this decaying base real quick for any materials, but I got quickly interrupted. Ah, uh, not again. Uh, trying to get a base down. What the? Dude. What the fuck is going on, bro? During this time, I was so stressed, but I decided to just rush to outpost and quickly buy metal frags with all the scrap that I have and expand my one by one where I was originally living and move the rockets while I was given the opportunity. So I ran over to outpost, got the metal frags, went back to the base, upgraded that, and then I went to collect my rockets. Hey, there we go. Alright, I need to get my rockets before my shack gets fucking raided. <sighs> Dude, I hate... I hate transporting loot. No way I'm raided. No fucking way my shack got raided. No! 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 <laughs> what is this wipe, bro? I can't believe it, dude. I hate this wipe so much, dude. I hate this wipe. I hate this wipe. I hate this wipe, bro. I hate this wipe. I don't think I've ever been this unlucky, man. Ah, oh, man. I didn't have a base to move them. You know, everything is f***ed up, bro. I hate it, dude. I f***ing hate it so much, bro. Nah, there's no way. No. Bro. 
Someone just got a row of rockets. Like that. Dude. I don't think I've ever been this unlucky. This is my best wipe and my worst wipe ever. Holy, bro. My shack is raided? Again? Oh my god. Literally like... Five minutes in between everything. Depot everything nighttime. Someone went there to raid it. Oh my god. I couldn't depot here as well. I only had one door to my loot. No fucking way, bro. That's so bad. That is just so bad. Oh. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Dude, I'm so close to rage quitting. I'm so close to rage quitting. Two rows of rockets. What is this server, man? Great, here's the next thing. I'm getting door camped. Can I please get a break? It's a GG, I guess. Probably getting raided again. I was so traumatized from getting raided, so I sat up here waiting for him to return with some C4s. Because that's what I thought he would do. But uh, luckily, I was a bit lucky this time. This guy didn't come back to raid me. So I could focus on doing my stuff, finally. So this time, I actually decided to do it by the book. And upgrade my base while progressively working on my treehouse. So I wouldn't risk getting raided again. So I expanded this temporary base on the ground a little bit more and now it was a bit stronger. I put some honeycombing and upgraded it with doors. I still didn't have a workbench, but all I had in my mind was to keep farming. But when I was outside farming, I noticed something interesting. Someone was building a base, and I couldn't keep away to check it out. I'm getting the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, fuck was that? I'm gonna die, though, to the roof camper. Jesus Christ, it was loaded. Wait, what did I even get? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, bro. He was setting up a base. He had everything. Oh, my God. He had so many guns as well. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. And I finally got my hands on a workbench. I bought a tier 3 from Outpost. AK. AK, AK, we're going for the AK. Going in for the kill. What, what is he raiding you? I'm so dead here. Is he getting online?
fuck is this server, bro? That's my satchels for my base. Let's go. Yep. We made it, boys. I got the satchels. Now that I finally had my base back, it was gonna be so much easier to focus on finishing this base. It wasn't even a tease in here. I mean, it left some stuff. Alright, boys. I think it's time for us to build this base, bro. Okay. Alright, how do we do this? Okay, I'll cover this, I guess. Maybe. What if I just put windows here? And then... This cool roleplay roof. Yo, this is sick, bro. Yo, what? Yo, this is insane, dude. I gotta upgrade everything. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, yo, look at this view, bro. Holy, this is insane. Wow. <laughs> I love it, dude. Sadly, I will probably get offline, but uh, that's another history. Need a bit of more stone. Gonna put my lanterns on these ones. It's gonna be super comfy in here. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> this is so cool, bro. I don't even care what you guys say. This base is cool. <laughs> Just imagine nighttime when all these are on. <laughs> I love it. And then. Gun. <laughs> Dude. I love this. Sorry for hyping it up so much, but it's actually insane my bolt there my hunting rifle yo <laughs> uh. like what the fuck it's in such a good area for me to counter but i bet i'm gonna die because this server right now is so populated apparently like even if it's low pop there's so many people just pushing things
Gotta be dead. See him, bro. This is so bad. Getting the fuck out of here. Oh. Yo, yes, <laughs> that makes it up for the rockets that, that I lost earlier. Yo, that's so good. Oh my god, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ, my heart is pounding. That death run was insanity, bro. I'm going back there to fight. Oh, I think the M2 is outside. Trying again. With this roof camping shit. I got an M2. I'm leaving. Yes. No! Oh my god! So I had just defended a raid by accident. I was just AFK in my base and then I heard a heli come by. So I shot him down and decided to go down and loot him. And then I died instantly to a guy in a bush behind him. This guy had so much boom on him. He was gonna raid me, but this guy named Baki got all the loot. And I wanted to do everything I possibly could to get this stuff back. I would not let this slip. Revenge mode was on. Find Bucky. Bucky, Bucky, Bucky. I killed him at launch right. He came from this side. Oh my god, he's typing in chat too. I'm gonna find this guy. I will find you and I will kill you. No joke. Okay.
I found you, you little rat. <laughs> Where's the C4? Oh my god, I think I got it back. Yes! 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 I got it back. There's no way this was the right base. Oh my fucking god, bro. I'm actually shaking. Wow. I got everything back. <laughs> oh my god. I deserve this so much, bro. Mm. I deserve this so much. This was so deserved. All the ups and downs this wipe, I definitely deserve this loot. I found the guy who stole this C4 from me. This was huge for me. I got everything back, plus a little bit more. This was insane for me. Sorry buddy, this wasn't yours, it was mine. Thank you, goodbye. Since I was planning to leaving the wipe after this, I decided to full send it on the roof camper who took down Heli. This guy had been roof camping so much. Yep. I knew it. Yeah, I can't do shit. Oh. <laughs> Fuck this guy, bro. See, I can't do shit, bro. Ah. Like, I'm sorry for being mad, but I... I Oh my god, I just wasted a fucking... I wasted a normal rocket. Countered by someone. I still had a little bit of loot left in this base, and clearly, I didn't have enough to finish the raid. So, I thought I would just die to the closest random naked, with a bunch of random stuff, M2 and everything. I still did a lot of damage to the other guy, broke a few turrets here and there, so yeah, it was definitely worth it for me. It was fun, and I hope it was really annoying to replace those walls and stuff, because he was a roof camper, he deserved it. <laughs> kill me, bro, kill me, bro. Trust me, you're gonna like if you kill me. Kill me, bro. You're gonna be happy. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. 
Kill me fast and loot me. <laughs> I had all the loot on me.